Good day! So yung lesson natin ngayon ay geometric transformations pa rin. Tuloy tayo dun. And specifically yung mirror reflection na transformation. Yung gusto natin matutunan ngayon ay ma-identify kung ano itsura ng mirror reflection transformation sa plane. So gusto rin natin siyang makita kung paano siya ginagamit sa Cartesian plane. And we'll use GeoGebra para i-demonstrate paano mag-apply ng, ng mirror reflection sa isang image. Yung tutulong sa atin ngayon si Carlito na Carlito the Tarsier. Okay, so mirror reflection. Mirror reflection, it's a transformation na minamap yung pre-image natin across a line, which we'll call the axis of mirror reflection. So here, we have our pre-image, si Carlito, tapos meron tayong line representing the axis of mirror reflection, and we apply the reflection para makuha yung image ni Carlito across the axis of mirror reflection. So yung idea dito is, yung reflection natin, yung axis of mirror reflection, if we fold our plane across that line, mag-overlap completely yung pre-image dun sa image under mirror reflection transformation. Pwede rin natin gawin ay i-connect using line segments yung corresponding points. Corresponding meaning yung left ear sa left ear, right ear sa right ear, yung kamay sa kamay, and so on. Kahit anong corresponding points sa image, ito lang yung convenient. We connect the corresponding points with line segments and the line segments have to be parallel. Bukod sa pagiging parallel ng line segments, yung axis of mirror reflection natin, it will also act as a perpendicular bisector nung lahat ng line segments na nagko-connect ng corresponding points. So if we will observe dun sa figure, yung axis of mirror reflection, perpendicular siya sa bawat isang line segment connecting corresponding points. At the same time, hinahati niya equally in two yung mga line segments na yun. Binabisect niya yung line segments na yun. Again, the mirror axis is the perpendicular bisector of all the line segments connecting corresponding points in the pre-image and the image. Uh, it's important to note no, that a mirror reflection is an orientation reversing transformation, meaning nag-flip, parang nakatingin ka sa lamin, yung kaliwa nasa kanan, yung kanan nasa kaliwa. Okay, a uh, quick discussion about symmetries. A symmetry is a geometric transformation that maps an object onto itself. Meaning, pag in mo siya, parang walang nangyari. So, the following objects, including si, si Liza, meron yung picture, yung face ni Liza, nagde-demonstrate sila ng mirror reflection symmetries. Meaning, I can draw an axis of mirror reflection na kung dun tayo mag apply ng reflection sa image, parang walang nangyari. So dun sa sun ng Philippine flag, imagine if we fold our plane along that line, mag-overlap yung, yung sun onto itself. Dun din sa Tamaraw logo ng FEU, meron din siyang mirror symmetry across that line. So, sabi nila no, na isa daw mark ng beauty sa face ng tao is pag meron siyang mirror symmetry, meaning yung kaliwa halos pareho ng kanan. So, inanalyze, pwede nating i-analyze yung face ni Liza. And we see kahit mag-flip, parang walang nangyari. So, according to that criteria, baka maganda nga talaga si, si Miss Liza. Okay. So, paano kung lalagyan natin ng coordinates yung plane natin and how will uh, the reflection work there? Yung reflection sa coordinate plane, usually, ang, ang pag-refer sa kanya ay ginagamit natin si capital R, tapos yung subscript niya is yung equation nung line that acts as the axis of mirror reflection. So, for example, we have Carlito here sa Cartesian plane, nilagyan din natin siya ng trapezoid para meron lang tayong reference points na magagamit. If we apply the mirror reflection R sub x equals 2, yung blue na line to Carlito, magkakaroon siya ng reflection across that line. So, ano yung special pag nasa coordinate plane? We can take a look at how the points behave. So, if you take a look at points A, B, C, D, map sila to another point in the Cartesian plane. So, ma-identify ma natin to and we can say that the reflection along x equals 2 will map 3, 1, Kay 1, 1, it will map point B, 5, 1 to negative 1, 1. It will map point C, 3, 4 to 1, 4. It will map 
uh, point D, 5 and 3 halves, papunta si negative 1 and 3 halves. Another example, if we apply naman yung transformation na R along Y equals X kay Carlitos sa so diagonal line, that will be the image, you could identify the mapping na si 5-1 na pupunta kay 1-5, si 7-1 na pupunta kay 1-7, 5-4 na pupunta kay 4-5, at si 7 and 3 and 1 half na pupunta kay 3 and 1 half and 7. So, interesting dito sa reflection transformation na to, if we, if we apply a mirror reflection along the line y equals x, nagpapalit actually yung x and y coordinates. So, we could say that this is a mapping. Ah, hindi ko pa sinulat. This is a mapping from xy na pupunta kay yx. Pinagsiswitch yung dalawang coordinates. Okay, let's say kailangan natin gamitin yung GeoGebra para mag-apply ng reflections. This is what you can do. So, first you have to load your figure that will act as your pre-image. And then you have to create yung line of reflection or the axis of mirror reflection using the line tool. After mong magawa yung line, pupunta tayo sa Reflect About Line tool. How it works is that you will select the object to reflect and then you will select the line. Then si GeoGebra na yung mag apply ng reflection. There we go. We could also find some mirror reflection transformations sa patterns on Philippine fabrics. So, here, for example, meron akong Tiboli, Yakan, at Magindanawan fabrics. So, I'll give you 5 seconds para maghanap ng motifs na pwede nating i-applyan ng mirror reflection tapos mapupunta siya to some other part in our pattern. So, 1. Okay. So, here are the motifs na nakita ko. Yung white dun sa Tiboli, yung green sa Yakan, yung Sayan sa Magindanawon. So again, here they are. I hope naging visible sa atin. And what I will do is I will apply a mirror reflection to get their images here. So ito for the Tiboli. For the Yakan, sa right side niya, there. So it's a mirror reflection of that motif. Sa Magindanawon, ito. Can imagine my line kung saan siya nag-reflect. We could actually find another line of mirror reflection na mamamap natin tong mga images na to to another image. For the Tiboli, ito. For the Yakan, sa baba din. For the Magindinawon, sa baba niya. Okay, so for a final recap, na demonstrate natin yung mirror reflection as a concept. Pinakita rin natin paano siya gamitin sa Cartesian plane. We also looked at symmetries. Sinabi natin na symmetry is a transformation that ma maps an object onto itself. So parang pag nag-apply ka ng symmetry, ng symmetry transformation sa isang object, parang walang nangyari. And ginamit natin yung Reflect About a Line tool ng GeoGebra. So next, we'll talk about the rotation transformation. Thank you very much and I'll see you sa next video.